Hi everyone. So this is the second part of the video. So in this video, we are going to talk about what are the different native tools being provided by each of the CSPs to understand who has access to what and to determine the least privilege policy. So first, let's look into it. Now, how you can determine who has access to what. In AWS side, you can leverage upon AWS IAM, you can leverage upon a UL, UI or the CLI to gain some visibility. Again, uh, you can leverage upon IAM policy simulator also to get some idea around resource-based policies as well and whether anything is denied from organization policy, which is SAP. From, uh, to if you really want to get a complete visibility within AWS, so as per my understanding, it is quite hard to get. So that's where you need, really need to leverage upon some of the external CIM based solution, including Cyber. So on the Microsoft Azure, I find it quite easy and we can easily understand who has access to what using Azure AD IAM users or using Azure Manage Identity details. Again, we will be looking into the demonstration. On GCP side, so GCP is quite cool. They have come up with a new tool called Policy Analyzer. Using Policy Analyzer, you can gain a complete visibility who has access to what. Let's jump out to the demonstration. First on AWS and then we will jump on to Azure and uh, GCP. In AWS, we will be looking at two different ways uh, from the IAM dashboard and then we will jump on to the policy simulator. So here, this is what my AWS account is. So we are going to one of the user called Raj, I am role. So here, so from the dashboard itself, you will be able to see, hey, what are the different permissions has been assigned directly or has been, uh, will be inherited as part of the group. So you will be able to see all this information, including the permission boundary. So this one is on the AWS side. And then let's go into the AWS policy simulator. In the policy simulator, so it can somewhat will be able to provide you some of the information. So if you really want to understand whether the user has access to what all policy and whether user is allowed to perform a certain action or not. So I pick and choose. The, the same user and then we, you can pick and choose hey like one of the service so here we are picking one of the service called plastic container service we are going to have all the permissions once we uh, run a simulation you are able to see i'm getting a deny so here it is telling us this deny is happening as part of the aws organization policy so this is the one of the advantage of leveraging upon AWS policy simulator. Let's look into Amazon S3. So here we are selecting again all the actions. So I think I have to refresh it. So once I'm able to refresh, so then we will try to see, so what are the different permissions? Uh, my user, Raj, I am role user has. So it is taking a couple of seconds. Yeah. So here, if you see most of the actions are, are denied or implicit deny. So here, so you can pick and choose a specific uh, bucket policy as well on the basis of the on the basis of the resource based policy so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy my s3 bucket name and from there we will see whether a specific user in this case it's raj i am role whether this particular user has an access or not so once i run this simulation you will be able to see some of the actions are gonna be allowed so here, this action is allowed. Again, just to summarize, so 
AWS uh, doesn't have any like a single tool that can provide you complete visibility around who has access to what. If you really wanna have a look at a complete organization level uh, and around the effective permission, that's where you really need to leverage upon some sort of a third party CIM tools. So now we are going to Microsoft Azure. In Azure, we will be leveraging upon Azure IAM and we will be leveraging upon a uh, manage identity. So this is my Azure dashboard. In this dashboard, I'm simply going to one of the user. So in the in this case, the user is Rajnishka. So once I go to Azure role assignments, so you will be able to see all the different permission assigned to me on a specific subscription and so on. So similarly, I can go to the demo testing and I can go to other Azure subscription as well to understand what are the different permissions being assigned to this specific entity. Again, this one is on the user side. So now we are going to Azure subscription. We are gonna to go to the manage identity side. So this is one of the manage identity I created. So here, once you go to the access row, once you go to the Azure role assignment, you will be able to see all the different uh, permissions assigned at what different level. So you can gain a complete visibility. So this is a little bit about Azure. If you see Azure has done a better job as compared to AWS. So now let's look into the GCP. Uh, GCP has a tool called Policy Analyzer. It can really help us to understand holistically what all permission has been assigned at what level uh, within the GCP. So here, so this is my GCP console. Uh, so here, what we will do, we will go to the GCP uh, uh, within the IAM. There is a concept, there is a feature called Policy Analyzer. So we are going to create a query. In the query, so I'm selecting the entire organization first. Again, you can pick and choose a specific project if you want. So here I'm picking up a principal name, like one of the user I created, my demo user. So rajneesh.nsip. So once I run a query, so you will be able to see or you will be able to have a complete understanding so what all different permission has been assigned at what level? So if I pause this, so here you will be able to see uh, the, the principal name, you are able to see the resource and you are able to see the inheritance level as well, like the computer admin and the service account user we are, is being inherited from the SE solutions demo.com, whereas the cloud function admin role is being inherited at the project level. And at a specific storage admin uh, is assigned directly at the bucket level. So let's look into it in more detail. So now we are going to go to the uh, organization, sc-solutions-demo.com. So here you will be able to see, hey, my user has been assigned this compute admin and service account user permission at the organization level. So then we are gonna to go to a specific project, my project 50847. So once I go to this specific project, you will be able to see I have been assigned or this specific user has been assigned this cloud function admin permission. Again, it has been directly assigned. So now we are gonna to go to the buckets because there is one permission assigned directly at the bucket level. So we are gonna to go to one of the project and there the bucket name is like Rajneesh Hub Security. And uh, so here, once we go to the bucket, so there you are able to see a storage admin role has been assigned directly to my user at the bucket level. So this is how GCP can help you to provide the permissions. So in short, so my, my take is like GCP has done a far better job compared to AWS and Azure to understand who has access to what in a very simplistic manner.
So now uh, the next question comes, hey, what are the different tools uh, being provided by all these cloud providers to come up with the least privilege policy? Within AWS, AWS has a concept called, or a, within IAM service, they have a feature called AWS Access Analyzer. So using this Access Analyzer, it can help you to come up with a least privilege policy. In the Microsoft Azure, as per my understanding, there is no such feature to come up with a least privilege policy. The only option you have, you really have to leverage upon a Microsoft Entra Permission Management Again, uh, Microsoft entered into domain via the acquisition of CloudNox, and it's a separate license altogether. So when it comes to the GCP, in the GCP side, we can leverage upon AWS IAM Recommender. Uh, with the help of the IAM Recommender, we can help you to come up with a least privilege policy. So let's look into all these cloud providers one by one. So let's look into AWS Native List least privilege policy here. So we will be looking at AWS Access Analyzer. There you will, we will see how it can help us to leverage upon a least privilege policy. So here you can click on a analyzer. Again, I have already enabled the analyzer for my entire organization. So once you do that, once you click on the Access Analyzer, it can provide you quite a number of things. It can help you to understand who has access to what, who has access to your account, whether what kind of permissions they have, it can provide you all the different information uh, on the IAM role level as well as on the S3 bucket level. So, so here I'm just picking, I'm just gonna pick and choose one of the roles what I created. So currently it has been provided administrative access permissions. So, so here, what you have to do uh, to get a policy, list privilege policy, you have to click on a get generate policy. Here you can pick and choose for how many days you really have to wanna go and look into the cloud frame. So once you provide all this information, so there, what it's going to do, it is going to create a uh, least privilege policy. So it takes like, couple of seconds, currently the uh, least privilege policy is being created. So let me fast forward. So now the policy has been created. So we are going to look at the least privilege policy. And the least privilege policy we are, I mean, AWS is gonna show you, hey, all this action has been used by the user then you can pick and choose like all these additional thing if you wanna assign any of the additional permissions. So here, this is how the least privilege policy is gonna look like. So here, it is going to provide you some sort of a security warning as well. If it, be, if it sees a risk can be very high. So, and here it is uh, telling us like, hey, the IAM pass role, uh, can be assumed by I think any anybody at the moment and there are a couple of errors what you can see. So this is how the least privilege policy is gonna look like. Uh, the thing is like, you can look, go to the access ad advisor and the access advisor, it can help you to understand hey, uh, against all the different services, uh, what are the different permissions being used? So it doesn't go into the permission level, it stays at a very high level but help you to understand whether a given service has been used in last 90 days or not. So that's on the AWS side. On the Microsoft Azure side, as we discussed, there are there is no out of the box tools. You really have to leverage upon a MSFT Entra Permission Management, ARCA EPM, but really have to pay extra to come up with a least privilege policy. Let's look into the GCP. In GCP, we will be looking at IAM Recommender, and it is an awesome feature from GCP and can really help organizations to move towards a least privilege. So here, we are just looking at a specific project called My Project. So here, it can really tell you, hey, how many permissions are being used by a given entity. So, uh, so this is one of the things. So here, uh, this is a very nice feature, like what I like about 
ACP, like only three permissions are being used out of 10, it can provide you all this information. So again, you can go to the uh, organization level. So once you go to the organization level, it can help you to understand or it can provide some sort of a recommendation as well. Like it has detected one service account really have a owner role or editor role, which is like too many permissions here. So here you can look at the recommendation. From the recommendation, you are able to see, hey, this service account can be um, impersonated. So which, which is not a good thing. Uh, so then uh, what you can do, you can apply those recommendations and all these permissions will be automatically taken away. So this is the beauty about this GCP and recommender. So, yeah, so I think uh, uh, this is a little bit about GCP. I think that's it from my side. Thanks a lot, everyone, for watching this short video around the least privilege and what are the different native tools provided by all these cloud providers to achieve you, to help you to understand who has access to what and what all you can do to move toward the least privilege approach. So thank you everyone.